Howdy y'all, Pepper the King Prawn here, got me a box today from the Pony Express, and it was full of all kinds of goodies. So we're going to have us a good old fashioned 1S shootout. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one point. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and as Old West Pepe mentioned, today we're going to do us a shootout on 1S LiPo batteries in the 260 Maw category. So let's take a look at what we're going to be working with. We have the Crazy Pony Yellow. We also got ourselves a Crazy Pony Blue. There was a little bit of a difference in those. Uh, we got the Beta FPV. We got the AKK. We've got a Wolf Whoop. And we have the GNB. Now this review is going to be a little bit different because what I'm going to do this time is I'm collaborating with one of my subscribers. This is a new segment I'd like to get started where I collaborate with a subscriber or subscribers to put together a review on a product or some products like we did here with the shootout. Now, one of the subscribers, Daniel FPV, stepped up and talked to me about the Wolf Whoop battery review I did and said, hey, uh, not really fair if we don't put together a group of batteries and take a look at them in a very specific way. So would you be willing to do that? And if you want, I'll buy one of the battery brands and I'll do it on my end. So I said, sure, absolutely. Let's cl collaborate on this and, and put together a video for everybody else to see. So in the comments, when you get down there, uh, think about other things you'd like to see that maybe you'd like to collaborate with me on. Uh, we could even do contests of like, you know, building the coolest whoop, um, you know, gates, something, something fun to do and make our little group of, of FPV community guys here subscribe to this channel uh, happy and have a little fun. How about that? So, uh, so in this video, you're going to get some footage from Daniel FPV. I'm going to have his links below to his channel. Make sure you right click that link right now, open it up in another window and be ready to go over there and do the guy a favor and subscribe to him for putting in all these great efforts and let's get his channel going as well. So let's get started first with some just 101 LiPo battery information. Now, if you weren't aware of it, most LiPo batteries for RC come out of just a handful of factories. And Repow, for example, is one of the major players over in China that produces batteries for RC. And they have other connections here in the U.S. and in Germany as well. And you can check out their site, too, if you want to see more about it. But, for example, they make batteries for several people in the industry that you will identify right away and if you had three thousand dollars or more three to four thousand dollars to buy the minimum amount of batteries you wanted you could put a packaging on it and have your own lipos from a company like this but as you can see they do gin ace they do tattoo just an example of some of the battery brands that they put out so they're taking their product which is the base you know silver that you see under there which is lithium wrapped with polymer folded I think it's 14 times or or something 24 times I can't remember exactly how many times that it's heated and put in charged tested etc like that so when we look at a shootout like this what you're gonna see is a lot of batteries coming in right around the same voltage and amps are gonna come in very very similar in what they can do um, and that's not shocking knowing that most of them are coming out of the same factory some of them save money by their packaging their branding just as if you bought a yellow and black can of beans that came out of the hunts factory or you bought hunts beans branding packaging all those things advertising costs money and all that is returned into the pack and how much it costs you so some of those factors you know you can get from smaller companies cheaper because they're going to try to get it cheaper so they can sell it cheaper and so on so you'll see in the results what i mean about this now i'm going to use my semi-scientific method 
And what that is, is putting math on the line, as Mr. Bardwell will do. Um, what we're looking at is what kind of pull am I using if I average out what I'm doing from punch to hover to fly and come up with a number and then I put it on the bench on beta flight and I run the pack down using beta flights motor tab now if you've seen my other videos you'll see that consistently this works really really good um, I've done this on the bench gone out and flying the packs and we're getting the same numbers so as I said it's semi-scientific um, but it does get the job done and it's pretty darn accurate now I could do it uh, in a much more accurate way by getting a testing unit and they run around $200 um, if anybody is interested in more of this as the channel grows and anyone thinks I should put together a kick not a Kickstarter but a, a GoFundMe or whatever to help generate some funds to help me pay for this tester that you're seeing I could do that and the reason why I say that is because most of the money I'm investing into this channel is invested into giveaways and things like that and I often feel that you guys would rather have the giveaways and not worry about my semi-scientific versus having a machine like this to do it. So if you agree, stick with the giveaways, don't worry about the machine, let me know in the comments also. So let's talk about the data we're going to be gathering. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put all the packs onto our charger and we're going to see what storage rate they were sent to us at, which is a very important thing. You want these to come in at, and on these, these are all HVs, so they're going to come in at about 3.8. Now a thing to note is that my charger is about 0.2 off. Um, just is it also charges 0.2 higher when it goes to, to 435 it actually says 437 or 438 so let's note that when we go ahead and look at these once we get them on so we got five of the six packs going I've already got the feedback from Daniel on what the GNB was so let's take a look and see what these come into once we come around to channel one we'll begin to be able to see what we came in as our storage rates so our first battery is come in at 416 which takes away the two your 38 as you can see they're all coming in the four ones or three nines so they were delivered to us all at a great storage rate so we can give everybody a check on that one so the next thing we're gonna look at then is what kind of weights are these batteries coming in at so the first battery we're gonna put up is that crazy pony yellow and it comes in at 7.1 it's going to be our heavier one as you can see it's going to be longer than the rest it's a little bit different from a battery and the next one up is going to be our crazy pony blue which is coming in at 6.6 .6. next up is going to be our beta fpv battery it's coming in at 6.8 next we're going to go ahead and look at the akk and that is a 6.6 .6. And next we're going to look at our wolf whoop and that is a 6.7. So what we'll go ahead and do now is we'll line them up by lightest to heaviest and we'll check out what we got there. So our end results were the Crazy Pony and the AKK both came in at the same lighter weight. Then we had the wolf whoop, then we had the Beta FPV, and then we had the large Crazy Pony yellow. Now all this information is going to be on the Google Doc that I've created that I'll have a link for below that you guys can go and you can check it out and see as we continue down the line with this battery testing we'll continue to add to it and see what kind of results we have but you always have access to that you can check it out as we continue to use and it'll also contain links to where you can buy these batteries depending on how you feel about which ones and how they serve your purpose now because every one of these batteries might serve you a purpose in a different way uh, you might be conscious of weight because you're racing you might not care but as as I get into the details of how the batteries performed when I show you the side by side I'm going to give you a little bit more details about when the battery started to lose its performance and when it didn't so let's go ahead and kick it off to Daniel and let him show us the fly footage of the GNB battery thanks pep okay so over here I have the GNB 260 HV batteries I did bring along my old uh, 250s here along with me to show the kind of size difference and the differences between these two. Now, 
the 260s are a little bit longer and skinnier, but they do, they're still heavier than the 250s, so that's something I found a little bit surprising because I run an inductrix frame and usually it is just forever for it just to go. So these batteries have one cycle on them. Now the reason for that is the fact that, um, the reason for that is because uh, when I originally ran the, um, when I ran them the first time, I noticed that they weren't really that good when I first ran them, so I went ahead and put one cycle on them, and they worked really, really, really well. So, these are not two, these, these do not have two cycles, these are just, uh, not fresh out of the box, but they do have one cycle. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the flight. At the end of this flight, I will have a timestamp of how long I was flying. So yeah, I'm not having to use too much throttle. I'm probably down at maybe 40 to 30 percent. So right off the back, I will say I do love these batteries. They're really, really good. Although I have only really run G and B and the Crazy Pony Blue ones. Now the Crazy Pony Blue ones, they're not as good as I hoped they were. But I'm not saying it was a waste of money because they lasted me for so long. I think I had them for five months. One is just so puffy at this point. But the only reason why that one's all puffy and stuff is because of the fact that uh, I left it in a heating car. So luckily it didn't blow up or anything. But I just have it sitting in a box in case it does or something. But um, something I do have to say is um, that my frame has... My frame is switched directions, and I'm running the inductrix frame, just so I can take a little bit more advantage of the extra length of it. Now, I don't know, I haven't, I forgot to bring out my 260 uh, Crazy Pony, so I can't really uh, compare sizes, but I think the 255 Tiny Whoop batteries are the same length. I'm not 100% sure. I have looked at them, I think they are the same size. I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure. So I'm just running this like a normal flight of what I do would be. I mean, I'm not going through all these gaps just because I don't want to crash and mess with how long I usually fly with. So I'm just going through the easier ones. So yeah, I am like changing whether I'm using a lot of throttle or just staying low. Just to kind of give a more accurate flight time just so I'm going like in between of how long I fly. Now, right after this flight, I am going to do a punch-out test to see how long, uh, to see how long it would take me to reach 15 feet. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether this right here is 15 feet. I'm pretty sure it's higher. Well, I'm, I know it's higher, but I'm probably going to, I'm going to have a timer set up. Well, not right now, but when I review this video, I'm going to have a timer set up and everything, so... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this flight. I still have pretty good battery. I'm only using at least 50% at this point. So I'm getting probably halfway through. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to have to use more throttle now. Well, these are almost dead. Um, so the record flight time I have gotten for these is about 4 minutes and 5 seconds, I think it was. Oh yeah, these are definitely dead. I'm just gonna run them till they do like just till I actually drop, which is probably not a good idea. But I have noticed that. Oh, something else I didn't talk about. Oh yeah, they're dead. I'm gonna go ahead and land. Uh, something else I didn't talk about is the fact that um. No, no, I'm still not flashing. Um, something else I did notice was the fact that the connectors are actually more out than the. Uh, 250s, which I found kind of weird, that I thought was probably a little bit better for the battery. Man, these have to be dead by now. Yeah, I'm flashing. Okay. Well, however, however long that was, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swap batteries. Uh, let's see. Now, keep in mind, these do have one cycle, so right out of the box, I do suggest just running one cycle, not as, like, a serious run. But uh, just to kind of get the battery going with what your setup is. 
I'm running 19,600 19, KV motors, and um, they're pretty good. Um, I did notice these seem a little bit shorter. Now, I do tend to get a little bit uh, different flights uh, between different batteries. Like, some I'll get longer, some I'll get shorter. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out. So yeah, I'll go ahead and put up a timestamp of how long that was. Um, yeah, I do like these batteries a lot, but keep in mind I've only flown with the Tiny Whoop once, Tiny Whoop battery once, and that was a pretty puffy battery. Um, and the Crazy Ponies, which didn't have the blue ones, not the yellow ones. The yellow ones, yellow ones, I guess, aren't as good, but I would, if that was, if I had to either fly with, um, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to say. <laughs> um, but all I'm saying is I do definitely love GNB. I have flown GNB for a long while now. Um, definitely great batteries. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Thank you, Daniel. All right, everybody. Daniel's a great little pilot. Let's everybody head out to his channel. Subscribe up. It doesn't hurt anything to subscribe. Show him some love for this idea for a mega shootout and for participating in it. And, you know, being a young guy out there doing some good instead of being a little hoodlum and causing trouble. I love to see our young people out there doing something good as FPV. So before we get kicking too deep into this, um, I started at two minutes so you wouldn't be completely boarded by the entire thing. But let's do some takeaways from the video. Make sure you go down in the comments below and make sure you let me know if you'd like to collaborate with something. I can't promise I can do them all, but I'm more than happy to collaborate with people trying to get their channel going. And also in the comments, you know, let me know if you want to do something as far as our little community here at the Quadcopter Review. If you want to do like a, a little shootout, a little little contest or something that would be fun for everybody to get involved in, we can do that here and I'll set it all up and I'll put together something as a prize to, to the winner. So as we go into this, um, some things to note is some of these batteries were able to um, take a, less of a hit on the initial surge and maintain for a while and some we're taking a hit and then dropping low but maintaining at the low level so crazy pony yellow crazy pony blue wolf whoop they uh started out lower but maintained and uh on the bottom end and crazy pony yellow is out and then our gnb beta fp and akk started out strong maintained strong through the middle and then they would drop hard at the very very end wolf whoop is out Crazy Pony Blue is out. So it's between GNB, AKK, and Beta FPV at this point. Ah, and GNB is out. Now it's just down to Beta FPV and AKK at this point. And Beta FPV is out at 358. And AKK is holding strong still at the moment. And it's going out at 4 minutes and 10 seconds. All right. So. All that being said, if you look at these results, guys, you can see that AKK, Beta FV, and GNB are all somewhere in the same category in the higher plane of things. And Crazy Blue, Pony Blue and the Wolf Whoop were in the 345s and 340s. And our Crazy Pony um, was lower, but it was a heavier, heavier battery and, of course, harder to... Um, basically, you had to, to use more thrust in order to, to make that battery work on a 65 millimeter. So th that's somewhat to be expected. So once again, let's thank Daniel FPV. Uh, thanks for coming out and checking out the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, look at the links below if you're interested in buying any of these. Look at the spreadsheet online because I'll have more details there. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the Quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.